This is a podcast from the Nuffield Department of Medicine. Dr Paul Burness tells us about his work on spondyloarthritis. Hello Paul. Hello. What is spondyloarthritis and what causes it? Spondyloarthritis describes um, a common group of arthritic illnesses where there is inflammation of the joints of the spine. That's the spondylo. Um, the commonest of these is called ankylosing spondylitis. And initially you get inflammation, but eventually, which is painful and stiff, eventually the spine turns to solid bone and that's where it becomes ankylosed. So these are a common group of arthritic illnesses. What is the role of the immune system in this illness? Well, we think that the diseases are caused by an overactive immune system. Um, so that's what causes the inflammation. Uh, but we don't know exactly the mechanism, and that's something many of us would love to know. Can we prevent it or cure it? Unfortunately, as things stand at the moment, we can't either prevent or cure any of these um, spondyloarthritic diseases. Um, we do know some are triggered by infections, so that's something that we might be able to prevent. Um, and also a lot of our research into trying to understand how the immune system is misfiring in these diseases, we hope will lead us to both prevention and cure in the long term. But we're quite a way away from that at the moment. What are the most important lines of research that have developed in the past five or ten years? Well, actually, there's been a lot of exciting research in the last ten years. Um, we've now got, a, using the human genome information and the Wellcome Trust information, uh, we've now got a great deal of knowledge about the genes that are important in predisposing to developing these diseases because they've turned out to have a, a major genetic component. And we now know at least five and maybe ten genes that can cause the disease. Um, the commonest is called HLA-B27, but other genes are genes involved in, for example, development of a particular kind of T cells, these white blood cells, called a Th17 cell. Can you give us an example of the research you were doing? Yes, well the research that um, my group's really heavily involved in is really trying to understand how these genes that we know are involved, how they actually work, both in healthy people and in people with arthritis. So, for example, we can use um, antibodies and what's called fax staining of individual cells to look at the blood cells of patients and compare them, for example, with cells from the joints. And that we've been able to show that the cells in the joints have very high levels of producing um, inflammatory molecules. In fact, one of them called IL-17, which is an and unpleasant and, and, and causes some of the pain and symptoms. Why does your line of research matter? Why should we put money into it? Firstly, this is, these are a common group of illnesses, so about one in 200 people are sufferers. Um, there are mostly young people. It starts, most people, the disease starts between the ages of 15 and 30. It causes a great deal of pain and um, disability, um, so for all those reasons they're important. But also uh, our research we hope will tell us a lot about the immune system in other, me in other diseases and, and in health as well. So I think there's two reasons why it's an important area to, to understand more about. How does your research fit into translational medicine within the department? Well, within um, the Department of Medicine there's a lot of research going on into inflammation and our research fits in very, very well with that. For example, um, we know that a number of the genes that are important in ankylosing spondylitis are also important in developing ulcerative colitis and Crohn's disease, and there's a big interest in the Department of Medicine in the inflammation in those diseases. So there's actually a close relationship between two groups of disease where inflammation is important. Thank you, Paul. Thank you.